Also tonight, a talented group of musicians in Niagara Falls is tuning up and getting ready for an important fundraiser. Our man Mike Randall has the story. There's no other sound quite like it. It takes a special breed of musician to take on the challenge of bagpipes. Practice and dedication. Duncan Hollinger gravitated toward the unique instrument about 45 years ago. I guess my family is Scottish. My father was uh, interested. I heard them from a very young age. Duncan is the music director for the McKinsey Highlanders Pipe Band. Bagpipe bands, the music director is known as the pipe major. With an instrument that has one volume extra loud, Duncan has to make sure they're all in tune. Besides performing, the group's mission is to teach. Emma Dorabiala has been taking lessons for a couple of years. I've always wanted to play the bagpipes since my uncle and my grandma were really into them. Jocelyn Breen picked up the bagpipes when she was 16 years old. She used to practice on her front porch. What did the neighbors say about that? My neighbors actually loved the bagpipes, so if I brought my bagpipes out, they would say, you can play anytime you want. The band has a fundraiser coming up January 22nd to raise money for scholarships and to buy new kilts. These things aren't cheap. You know, kilts run around $700 to have a well-made uh, kilt. The event is called the Robert Burns Dinner, named for the Scotsman and poet who wrote Auld Lang Syne. Details about the dinner are at the group's website, mcbagpipe.com. And on the menu, haggis. It's, uh, it's sort of a cross between a sausage and um, stuffing. We have traditional haggis, although we do not, it is no longer cooked in a sheep's stomach. The McKinsey Highlanders Pipe Band can always be seen wearing these traditional kilts year-round, even on cold winter days. It's wool that keeps you warm. It's amazing. Outfitted with one of these, you can barely notice the negative wind chills. In Niagara Falls, Mike Randall for 7 News. <laughs> there you, there you go. Randall in a kilt. Who has it? That's <laughs> fit him well, huh? <laughs>